statistic that every 15 minutes another elephant is killed. In 2012, 36,000 elephants were killed in total for their ivory. If poaching continues at this rate, then wild elephants will be extinct by 2025. The David Sherrick Wildlife Trust has organised marches across the world in 20 different cities today to raise awareness and stop ivory trading. We've come down today to MBK to join the march and support this very important issue. So we're here at MBK today, ready for the Elephant March to begin. Can you tell us a little bit more about what this means to you and why it's so important? Uh, well, from the sign behind us, oh, we can't really see it right now, every uh, 15 minutes there are a large number of elephants that are killed and by 2025, at this rate, there will be none left. Um, for us, you know, all animals have rights as well as elephants. They're incredibly intelligent animals um, and we care about them a lot. So. We feel that it's important to stand up for them and tell the truth about what's going on. Well, at the moment, I'm currently volunteering at the a Foundation for Elephants. Um, there's a number of elephants there. With an elephant being killed every 15 minutes, in a couple of years there won't be any more elephants. They're such beautiful creatures and we just need to preserve them so future generations can actually see how beautiful they are as well. Okay, I think humans have a responsibility to, towards animals throughout uh, all animal species uh, because they were here long before us. We've damaged their environment and many of them now are extinct. Those that are near extinction need our help even more and elephants are really on the border. So it's a shame that you know, things like this needing to be done but governments should listen, governments should act, governments need to do something but moreover people, humanity, the people who are um, you know needing ivory should actually stop needing ivory, they should look at alternative needs for whatever they, 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 they you know, sources for whatever they need but yeah I'm, I'm here, I live in Thailand, this is my home and uh, you know this demonstration here today is is local for me so if I was anywhere in the world I'd be doing this today. Uh, I'm here I'm from the north of Thailand and all the way down for a whole night and right down here so I just want to help the elephant because I'm working with the elephant it's beautiful animals so I love elephant and I think this is the huge thing that we can do because we join all over the world together so many countries and many cities now that's why I came here for this today. Well, I found we were, became aware of it when we first visited Thailand in 2010 and we couldn't believe the sort of cruelty that's subjected on the elephants um, and how quickly they're being exterminated. Um, and ever since then, my family, we always preach the word, so to speak. We happened to actually be in Bangkok when this was coming and we just said we have to turn up, we have to come just to show our support. Uh, I think uh, it's a very important issue because too many elephants die every day yeah and only for for the ivory and for the trade and I think it uh, it should stop because otherwise the uh, the elephant is going to be extinct in in maybe in 20 or 25 years that's the reason why I why I come and uh, and, uh, and demonstrate um, I'm here today to join the International March for Elephants uh, because uh, well, if every 15 minutes an elephant is killed uh, for the ivory and I've been living in Thailand for some time now and I saw that it is ivory for sale in uh, many different places in Thailand and I always wonder where the ivory comes from. The story that you always hear is that it's from an, uh, an elephant that died already but well there is so much ivory on the market here that in fact it's not difficult to see that this is not possible. Uh, so I think Thailand is quite an important place in the, in the ivory trade and if ivory trade doesn't stop we are going to lose the elephants forever. Now they calculated that in 2025 uh, there won't be any wild elephants anymore in Africa. So I think it's very important that worldwide we're going to take action to stop this. So that's why I'm here today and I hope that with this international action we can really do something to save the elephants.